when you're in the, the the on season, right? You're in the storm season, or you're in the the the, the season, the, like the weather season, right? This is when you're you're building your reputation as somebody who closes files, who returns corrections fast, who is not causing problems, right? And this is how to do it. This is what we just explained is, is exactly how to do it. You've got a, a basic framework. It's not complicated. Only scope which you can reasonably close that same day. When you get corrections, do those within 24 hours. Have a time set aside every single day. It could be in the evening. It could be the first thing in the morning, whatever it is, right? And But that's when you do it, right? You could even, you know, mm-hmm. depending on the later you get into a storm and, and you're kind of riding the wave and you're you're getting like, you know, you're not, you don't have like 30 pending, you've got four pending, right? Then you can like break out more time in the afternoon, which is what I used to do. I would take a longer lunch and I would sit there on my truck and eat tacos, check my voicemail, tacos. do corrections. Yeah. And then call people back after I finished eating tacos, of course, and then go to my next appointment. And then I'm, I go back to the hotel and I'm done for the day. I'm not staying up till three o'clock in the morning. I'm not staying up till 11. I'm not even staying up till 930. I mean, I'm like eat dinner, I'm out. And then getting up early the next day. So when you, when a person has that kind of a framework where they, they just say, you know what, this is going to be a slog no matter what. And I have faith that if I just keep plugging away at these and I just keep this, just keep this pace, I keep closing files. I don't let my phone, you know, fall through the cracks. And pretty soon, next thing you know, you're at the end of the storm. Maybe they ask you to do cleanup. You're not going to get asked to do cleanup if you are, you were making messes, right? The mess maker doesn't stay to do cleanup. Everybody else cleans up the mess maker's messes. And that's what cleanup's all about, right? So if you're not the person making the messes, then you build that reputation. And then over the winter, they're like, man, you know, James was, you know, he may have been new. This was only a second storm, I think, but he was doing a really great job. And we got the files closed and, you know, they looked good and the carrier liked him and, and he's got a good personality and he wasn't being a, he's friendly and it's, he was easy to talk to on the phone, et cetera. It's all you have to, that's all a person has to do. And then that opens up that, that window, that door even to stuff all kinds of opportunities over the winter. People think that there's only storm season and then it's just no claims at all. And that's totally not true. Not true at all. Again, make relationships with carriers. Make relationships with people. One of the things that that um, you know there there was some discussion on one of the Facebook groups recently about. I mean, pretty much the same thing about no work, and then you know what are we going to do? Because every, so everybody knows the situation. What's been going on with uh, some of the bigger carriers? They've gotten rid of all the IAs. They're gone on these mass hirings and they're hiring tons and tons of people and breaking them all staff. And that's people who've been, you know, pretty much continually deployed for years for one of, you know, these carriers are now finding themselves with no work and, and people are screaming, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Well, number one is, you know, shame on you for putting all your eggs in one basket, you know, um, you know, number two is, is that, uh, you know, you got to realize nothing lasts forever. Okay. Um, relationships. I mean, people that work for firms today moved. To other, we've talked about this. Somebody's at a firm today will not be there six months from now. Okay. Not, I mean, not always, but there's a chance they may not be there six months from now. When they move and you've got a relationship with them, they're going to call you. I've got a company right now that I'm doing work out here in South Carolina. The guy was working for a carrier that I did work for at the beginning of last year. He left, I mean, not a carrier, but a I firm. He left. He's at another company now. And every place I go, he sends me work, you know, and he left one firm, went to another, and we've continued that relationship. And, and so the other thing is, is, you know, we joke around about this, be nice to everybody, you know, um, just be nice to everybody, shake hands, just get to know people. Because a lot of times whenever work comes up, whether it be the off season or a deployment or something like that, they're on the phone with a with a manager and he says, Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anybody in this area? Or do you know anybody else around that we can call? And Hey, if you just had a conversation with somebody the day before, remember this, the, the last person that somebody talks to is the first person they remember once when, when they need something. Okay. So, Oh yeah, call my friend, Matt. Okay. I just got a phone, Matt yesterday. He's in that area, man. He can help out. And that's how a lot of stuff happens. That's how a lot of deployments get filled. There are deployments, and we've talked about this too. There are deployments that happen every single day that nobody ever hears about. And they get filled by people who are known within a 
within an IA firm, with people who were referred by other people within an, an IA firm. You know, I've got people right now that, you know, they're in my family, um, an extended family that have decided to get into the business and they're already working, you know, because I picked up the phone for them. You know, they were trying to get started. I said, hey, can you help this person out? And, oh, yeah, I'll have to drive a few miles to get to stuff. But, yeah, we'll, we'll use them. And they're they're using them. So that's, again, make friends and be nice to everybody because it only takes one person to hang a jury. You know, we also know that. So. <laughs> right. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think the bottom say. line on this. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The bottom line on this is is uh, there's always opportunities and you make the opportunities for yourself. And you right. do that by always, always posturing yourself as the solution to problems. And again, like you said, and not being the problem and that's, that's your, it's your marketing, right? So like your, your, your claim file product and, and your cycle time and all that stuff. That's part of like your stats, like your brand, you could say even. Mm -hmm. And then the sales part of that is, um, you're picking up the phone you're you're going to the conferences every conference that you can right so what does it actually look like when adjusters with decades of experience between them scope a hail damaged house on video what about how to actually do a claim in exactimate what is stability and how do you even get started in it what if there was one place one huge and expanding library of property claims suggesting videos showing how it's done what if there were also complete Xactimate certifications as well as the latest and most up-to-date Xactimate mobile training? You know, what if? What if the dream was a reality? Get started for free binging all the desk and field claims adjusting videos you can stand right now at adjustertvplus.com. Think of it as a virtual ride-along. Speaking of ride-alongs, click here to get right along to the next video because it's a, well, do you see how it's, it's a pun, you see, ride along, get it right. Just move right along versus ride along. It's right along, get right along to it.